In this video, I'm going to show you how I have a competitive advantage with the tools that I use every single day. ChatGPT has new things right now. Canva came out with a plugin as well as diagrams, and we're gonna look at both of these. And I gotta tell you, one of these has become my new favorite ChatGPT plugin. So listen, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use these. Stay for the video, write down some notes, and hopefully it can help your website rank higher too. Now let's test out this sucker. Tell me what the Canva app can do. And ChatGPT is like, well, it can do all these things. But unfortunately, these are the things like Canva.com can do. We don't want that. So let's keep going. Tell me what the Canva app integrated with ChatGPT can do. Design suggestions, content visualization, etc. And look, I said with Canva, create a nice visualization of this data. Now remember, I have the passive backlink videos. This data is on those. Remember, we're doing the Iceland page. Well, anyways, I pushed it all here, right? I'll have a link in the description if you haven't seen that video, but it's a lot. It's a blog post we've made. And then Canva said, Great, here are some Canva templates that you can use to create a beautiful visualization. And I'm like, Okay, that's not Iceland. And then I'm like, that's Greece. What are we doing here? So I'm a little confused at this point. So we have to go on a little journey. So what it does is it gives us these links. So I can click that link right there and it's going to push us right here, right? Right here where we can then change it about. And that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm hoping to be able to use ChatGPT without having to go to an external website, right? So let's see what else it can do. Now look at this one. I like this one a lot, right? Modern Bali book cover. If I click here, it's gonna push us to Canva again, but I said, can you revise number five and make it more aligned with Iceland? And it gives us a description and it gives us the Bali thing again. So what does this tell us? We have to go to canva.com to, 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 to revise these. It doesn't do it in ChatGPT. It's kind of like, I don't wanna say a marketing stunt, but, what is this good for? So I'm really, I'm really figuring out what is this good for? Can you do any customizations in Canva without having me go to the Canva website? It's like, nah, I can't do that. And I said, what can the Canva app do directly in the interface so it can suggest templates? So that's the number one thing it can do. I give it data, suggest a template. So if you use Canva a lot, this can be a good solution for you. Provide direct links, which we've already proven, offer design tips, da da da. So I said, I have a lot of info on the world happiness report, right? I said, give me an idea. What Canva design would be best? So this report is data-based, a lot of data. I need something good here. And it said, for presenting data from that, you can consider these, right? So let's check this thing out. And it's like a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, that's kind of cool, like, but definitely not what we're looking for for a website. So I had to give it something a little better. I need a scatter plot for the data to post directly on my website. Does Canva have solutions? And listen, you always have to give ChatGPT very direct instructions. So I think that first attempt was my bad. So it says, certainly Canva offers a solution, da 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 da, very generic, kind of like it. But here we go, right? You want a nice scatter plot? Canva has it, and ChatGPT can help you find it faster. Is that useful for you? Let me know in the comments. Will you use this? But we're not going to give up that easily. We cannot give up that easily. Goodness gracious. Let's go to ChatGPT4. Let's go to Diagrams. Create and display diagrams from croaky.ai. This thing can do what I was hoping it can do. Now let's take a second and actually read what can the diagram app do with ChatGPT because I do believe this can be relevant for a lot of things we've done in the passive backlink series, right? If you haven't seen it, I'll have a link in the description. It's a really cool thing we're trying to do. But the diagram app allows ChatGPT to create and render visual diagrams based on user requests. Cool. Visualizations, support for multiple diagram types, right? Flowcharts, sequence diagrams, blah, blah, blah. Interactive edits. That could be awesome. Textual explanation, all right, along with, what does that mean? Along with the visual rep, ChatGPT can provide a brief textual, ex okay, so they work together. Errors, flexibility, integration with this. Net, what is this? Network graph creation. For network graphs, the app uses a different syntax to depict a relationship between, I don't know what a network graph is. Do you, do you know what a network graph is? Someone please tell me in the comments. Goodness gracious, but I said, create a visualization for my website of this information. What is this stuff right here? Do you remember in the Passive Backlink series, we were building this really nice blog article out, Travel to Iceland, right? We're building this out and I have notes on it and everything. And we were able with ChatGPT's code interpreter to have these nice diagrams, right? And it was based upon data from Kaggle. So what I've done here is given it some similar data and said, here's a visualization. That's not bad. I think that one is, well, it's different. Is it prettier? Would you prefer that one? 
Um, let's look here. It's, it's certainly different, but remember, this tool said that it can customize graphs kind of on the fly. So check this out. This is kind of cool. Can you change ladder score? So ladder score is right here to the left. Ladder score, you see it goes from zero, two, four, six, eight, tops out at eight. I said, can you change ladder score? So the words to relative score max 10 and change the rows max height to eight to 10. So I'm asking it to change it and it did it. It did it flawlessly. Like it feels better, right? It feels better that this thing is out of 10 now. And, and it says relative score max 10. That makes more sense to the consumer. We, we were able to on the fly change this table to what we want. So let's not stop there. Let's say, uh, can you make the graph wider, right? And just like that, it's wider. I like this tool a lot. I like it a lot. Let's see what else this thing can do. So let's ask it, is there anything special you can do to make it better for my website? Sometimes with ChatGPT especially, just give it a generic question and check it out. It's like, here's everything I can do. I can add data labels, adjust bar club, you know, all these things. And look at that thing. That is nice. It has a gradient, a color, depending upon how high the score is. What am I seeing here? See this over here, happiness score? I like that a lot. Enhancements made, the chart is wider, the bars now have a gradient. Data labels have been added on the top of each bar to display the actual score. Where the heck is that? I don't see that one. Let me ask it. So data labels, a light grid has been added in the background for better correlation. I don't see that one, the title and axis. Okay, let's see. I don't see this one. Let's just see what it says, right? All right, data labels, da 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 All right, let's see what it says. Okay, look, it did it, just like that. That that right there, I would put on anyone's website, any any one of my clients' website, my website, that right there is, is worthy of a website, it really is. Maybe we could tweak it a little bit, but let's see if we can break this app. I, I have an idea, let's see if we can do something special here. So this right here is an interesting data set. Do you recognize this? This is a Google Search Console, Google Search Console export. You can export a lot of information into this form. And this is based upon this website that I bought. Haven't done a lot of work on it yet, right? This article is supposed to go on it, but you know, we get a couple hundred, I think it's a couple hundred uh, visitors a month, but nonetheless, this is Google Search Console data. It shows us the query, the exact thing that people type into Google. This is the exact thing people type into Google. How many clicks, how many impressions, click through rate and position. So let's grab this. Let's say the top 20, right? Let's push it to ChatGPT and say, can you make a visual to help me understand this GSC data? Boom, and let's see what it does. Now, as we let that cook, we have to quickly talk about why I care because I bought this website, right? I wanna know what is working on the website, what's not working. I mean, we can do things like sitemap you know, XML. We can go in here, posts. Okay, we have all these posts. But where are we actually seeing success to these posts, right? ChatGPT can help with these type of things. And goodness gracious, look at this. This is truly better. Listen to me. This is truly better than what I expect. I'm going to show you why. Look at this thing. So this right here is a data visualization. Clicks by top query. So this, if it has, you know, a, a, a big number here, English and Germany way over here has the top clicks. So, so for the website, the number one query, right, is English in Germany, but check this out, position in search, right? If it's, if it's red, it means that it's like a fifth position, typically above four. So we can easily find outliers. And if you can find an outlier, that is equivalent to a low hanging fruit. And for us, it's these red ones right here. We're receiving good clicks, but, right, English in Malaysia, but we're still lower in the SERPs. That means maybe, Maybe we can press into those articles and see better success right off the bat. Do you feel me? Look, these ones are already dominated, doing pretty darn good. They're top three SERPs. But this one, English in Malaysia, and what is this? Do Germans speak English? We can probably give that a little love. It's already getting clicks, a good click through, but we can probably do on-page SEO and, and boost it instantly. Now let's not stop there because Google Search Console, I mean, it gives us tons of information, right? But pages, you can go to your own Google Search Console. You should do this at least on a quarterly basis. I mean, I do it way more than that. But the top pages for this website are how widely spoken uh, is, is, is English in Germany, right? It shows us right there. But what we're going to do is we're going to come here to ChatGPT. We're going to say, listen, can you give me a visual of this top 20 data? And it's going to say, uh, given the number of data points, it might be best to focus on a key metric. All right, cool. And it gave us this. Look, 
that's really good because as humans, we, we, we like data to look at. It makes sense to us like instantly. Germany, South Korea, Thailand, then it falls off from there, right? All of these down here at the bottom should be considered equal, at least in my eyes. But I asked it, can you make it better? Now, it may struggle with this. It said, of course, let's enhance the visual by combining multiple metrics. I was having a problem with this but let's see what it can do. Now, as it's working, you have to ask yourself, how can we use these tables, right? How can you use this table? I can use it as an SEO, as an agency owner. I could provide this to a client. This could be in a report. It's really good. Or we could use it for a website directly, right? So check it out. This is what it gave us. This is what it gave us. I said, can you make it better somehow? And it said, yeah, here's one of clicks and here's one of impressions. And I'm like, yeah, that's okay. So I said, can you incorporate both data sets into one graph? But I think by now you get the point. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Definitely join the newsletter. Listen, that's where I send all the things out. Join the newsletter, link in the description, and check out the passive backlink series. And I appreciate you.